say hello to the Tensegrity model. So the Tensegrity model is actually a really good representation of our architecture, the way we're designed structurally speaking. What you're seeing here, those dowels represent the bones and these cables represent the connective tissue, the myofascia, muscles and fascia. If you look at this model, you can see that all these bones are actually floating in this web of connective tissue. Now what happens when we have a client with bone on bone walking in, this is not what things look like. This is more what we see or a variation on this theme. So if you can see, all of a sudden we have lost some float, right? You literally have bones sitting on bones. And interestingly enough, even on the other side, there are bones now touching bones. Yes, not just where the restriction is. So this was a completely incidental finding. We started to work with clients in order to help them deal with the pain. And we found, guess what? They've never had to have surgery, even though they've completely worn out articular cartilage. How is this possible? We figured out where the restriction in their fascia was in their system. We helped them free it up. We developed new postural strategies to keep it like this. Can you see that we now are back to floating? Yes, those people have completely worn out some articular cartilage. There's no way that we can regrow them that articular cartilage. The amazing finding is apparently you don't need to because once you're back to this tension system, floating and not compression system, even with bone on bone, you may not at all need surgery. So if you're interested in finding out if this kind of method, alternative, non-pharmaceutical, non-invasive, could work for your knee, for your back, for osteoarthritis, for bone on bone, for bone spurs, for tears, for labrum tears, come on down and see us and find out for yourself.